Hey there guys, today we have another cool video. This is the Axon M. It's a ZTE Axon M. I've wanted to get my hands on these for so long and now they're down to like 150 bucks for a freaking foldable phone. You don't know how, how, how excited I am. So it's insert GSM SIM. Uh, carry to register unlocked for GSM carriers, not for Verizon or Sprint. Returning device, factory set first, tells you, and then it tells you all the things. Max on M, it's running OS Android version 7.1. Inside of it, it contains eight, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of space, 821 Snapdragon processor, and two 5.2 inch 1080p IPS LCD displays that fold out to about a 6.5 or 7 inch display. So it says TV mode is waiting for you. Let's pull this out, put this to the side, and see what else comes in. It can wait, distracted driving is never okay. That's an AT&T slogan. And it comes with, what else? Let's get started guide. Uh, another manual, product and safety. Headphones. I'm gonna try these ones out. They look like AirPods. Uh, charger, quick charge three charger. And it shows that it's compatible and then a uh, uh, USB-C cable, and then that is everything. But I'm happy they came with headphones, which means the headphone jack is installed. Also, inside appears a dual SD card and all this. I mean, dual, um, um, whatever that's called. Dual speaker, technically, like a two-speaker mode. So, let's look at this device more. So you have a volume, up and down, power and fingerprint scanner together. So I have it either here or over here. It has a 20 megapixel front camera with flash that can all, as you also use for the rear camera, because there's no other camera. Bezels are decently big. TV mode's waiting so you can prop this open like this. And it has TV mode and has a, pa has a quick launch for camera, TV mode, or either. And you can select what happens when you open up for TV mode. Oh my god. That is such satisfying uh, results. There is going to be a little lip here for uh, that thing, but whatever. Uh, USB-C um, uh, speaker and microphone, and then there should be another speaker somewhere or another, unless it uses a top speaker, I guess. I don't know, there sounds like there's dual speaker, there's a SIM card, or an SD, or, uh, headphone jack, I forgot the name, because they're using a lot of devices, and then the power bar, and, uh, microphone, and then wherever the SIM card tray is, which is right over here, it's SIM and SD card. So, let me get this all set up, power it on, we'll be ready once it's done. So, this, after a couple, like, two weeks of using the Axon M, this is my thoughts. So the thing that I'm really, really, really cheesed about is this right here. Um, okay, so someone right here basically threw me off my skateboard and this is what happened. Otherwise, it's been very, very durable without a case. I like the fact that it has dual screens so that you can either use it in some sort of mode, like you can use it in a tent mode so you can watch YouTube videos here, or you can have tent mode mirror. It's just the same YouTube video on either side so you and a friend can watch or you can have two different apps or just one full screen app and then there are ways to get around some apps that don't work. So this is this is the, some of the things that I like so far. The speaker on the thing is eh, comes out of right up here really, really, really poorly as a speaker but it works really well as an earpiece. A single 20 megapixel camera, which if you're gonna take a photo, you have to flip it around like this and use a second screen as the phone camera and then a flash that so you blind yourself whenever you turn on the flashlight. I've gotten used to this button. What it is, it is called a TV mode. So tap and hold and it opens up your most favorite app. As for me, it opens up YouTube and that's what it does. And then there's a USB-C, charges that quick charge 3.0 in the box, comes with the charger and everything, headphones and, uh, and a cool SIM card tool. There's no way to be able to use this as the main screen ever. And I keep on accidentally like going upside down or like this, which is why I like wish there was a way, like if I was like this, it would know that I was on the opposite way. Other thing is to be able to unlock it, you have to lock, you have to press the lock button, then put your finger down, or the other thing you can do is tap and hold the screen and type in your password, I wish it was a swipe up. And then when I enable TV mode, now I have this instead of the Google Voice Assistant, so there's nothing wrong there with that. I'm going to show you, it comes with a Gboard pre-installed, so let me start a new message here. So here are all of the emotes that you could get with your device. Here it is, you have all of these smileys, and then you have everything here. So it goes through the list of devices, you have all the basic Google emotes, 
and it comes with a basic Google text messenger. I switched it to Gboard, just be, I mean to um, Google Messages, just because I like Google Messages better. But that's what you get here. As for camera, you can click this, and this is what it shows. Flip it around, and then what it'll say again is flip it around, and you can use selfie mode. So here is regular mode. Here you have your HDR, your um, timer, flash, flip around settings, video photo manual, so you can swipe over and it records this. You can swipe over and it goes to manual mode. You click settings, your resolution is 20 megapixels. You can flip over watermark, all that. Let's go back, let's turn it to video. And then settings, you have up to 4K quality. And it's no optical image stabilization. But if you go into manual mode, you have all of the, you have all the pro tool settings. And then if you flip on this, you have your panorama mode. You have your super, super night, like a night mode, multi exposure, magic shutter, time lapse, and slow motion. So you have all this cool stuff that you'd want. And then if you flip it over, let me get it flipped over. If you flip it over, it works practically the same. There is a video mode which records at 1080p, 2160p for the front facing camera. And then you have for selfie, you have a 20 megapixel, and then you have your beautify mode, which I never actually use. So you have all those modes here, and it looks exactly the same as if you were to take a photo with your rear camera. Now you have all of the basic apps. It barely comes with anything, but the AT&T apps take up a decent amount because it's an AT&T phone. Now, there's a lot of cool features though. I love this phone. If you go into the settings and you go to display, then you scroll down and there should be something for extended mode for all apps. Check this off before you before you even use the phone, otherwise you'll get so many apps telling you can't use full screen. So here's what happens when you open up a game. Now look what happens when you launch the game. You have it in a 5.2 inch display, then opens up into a full 6.2 inch display. So you're holding a 5.2 inch display on you in your pocket and then 6.2 once you launch it open more. And there are other modes too. The thing though is it's the thick boy. This can be used as shutter. It's thick boy, fingerprint, volume, uh, power button, volume up and down. Headphone jack, nice to see. Everything you'd want. Nice thing is, so yeah, you get a lot of cool features out of this phone. Do I recommend this? Yes, I do. And if you want more questions on this, ask me down below. If you did like this video, definitely please write a comment, subscribe, put a thumbs up, and so enjoy the rest of your day.